Hi, I welcome you all to my first YouTube video on object audio programming in Swift. So this is one of many videos where I will be showing you all about inheritance, polymorphism, object and classes, and abstraction and encapsulation. All these conce concepts I will be showing you in sequential videos. And so for this lesson, I will be showing you objects and classes. So let's go straight into Xcode by typing Xcode in the spotlight and clicking enter. Uh, we will be writing course in the playground so let's click get started with the playground and let's give it a name objects and classes and click next I want to put my file in desktop so you can put wherever you want so let's create and I will delete this line and I will write start writing a class on bank account and let's give a curly braces okay let's have enough room for the codes so there it will have two variables and first variable it will have account name which is of type string and the second variable would be account balance which will be double and let's initialize this value to 0, 0.0 and okay all right now this looks fine all right so we will uh, many of you who know Java programming we know that we e, e, there is constructors so for Swift instead of the constructor part we can write initialize in it account name okay so what is this basically in the init part we we are giving passing one parameters and the parameter is just account name let's let's say this clearly when someone wants to open an account and they just they just want to open an account with just the account name and they don't want to put any balance in there so this is the this is the function or constructors for that part and we will write self dot account name equals to account name so why am I writing self dot account name because this account name is this variable and in the parameter we are giving here account name and this account name is similar to the variable over here so I can I can give a different name but in that case I can I won't write self I can write here account name one and I have to write here account name one and the error will be gone so but the best practice is to write self dot account name so I will write that self dot account name and I will give a second initializer for account name of type string and let's give a comma and account balance of type double and let's parenthesis okay so this will be the same thing for here so I will copy this and paste and for the balance part I'll do the same thing so self dot self dot account balance equals to account balance so so far that looks fine okay all right let's clear the empty spaces all right okay and I will place the console on the bottom okay all right so the first function we will write is check balance check balance so you might want to check your balance that how much money you have and 
this is the function to call to check your balance and in this function I'll just do print print your balance and this will be the and backslash we will write account name account name balance is backslash again and I will write the variable name account balance so you see I'm printing the I'm printing sorry okay I'm printing the balance of the person person's account so okay that looks fine why am I getting this error So this would be small letter fine yes okay and the next function will be deposit money and this will take a parameter of amount variable and which will be type double and let's give curly braces and the account balance would be plus equals to that should be type amount and make sure that there is equal spaces uh, the, the, you see these spaces are equal in all sides of this plus equals to otherwise you'll get an error so make sure you give this and let's write function okay I don't want the whole generic type one so I'll type it by myself deposit money and we need another function called withdraw money withdraw money and amount of type double okay so I when I'm withdrawing money my account balance would be minus equals to amount enter and that looks fine okay I'm done writing my class and now I'll be creating objects from these classes so this is the most important part how am I going to do that so let's place this console on the bottom and I'll give extra spaces in here to write my codes to create my objects and this make sure this is outside this class and since I did not get an error so everything all of my code looks fine and now I'm going to write Ob I'm going to create my objects and this has to be var let's say I'm creating an account for John and instantiate with a bank account which is the class we just created and let's give a bracket and you see I'm getting these two two function two, uh, two initializers the, the ones we the which we wrote on the top so this we, we are getting from here and this is coming from here and you see you can either write give the account name or you can either give account name plus the balance so the I, I said you earlier that you can uh, someone someone might open just an account with no balance in there so we just place here account name and we give a string let's then let's say the name of the account is John and if if we want to then we want to place balance in John's account and we deposit money and let's say we deposit 500 and then we want to see how much money John has in his account and let's say John dot check balance and if you see on the right hand side John's balance is $500 and okay one thing I can write this very nicely I can give a dollar sign over here and this would be this has to be over here okay so now you see John's balance is $500 in the console we can print that out so you understand it we, we created an object of type bank account which is which was actually the blueprint this bank account class is our blueprint 
and we created an object with uh, and we we, we created an, uh, an object with the account name John and we deposit money in his account of $500 and we check balance and in the console we can print that that's that's easy right so let's now create another object of uh, let's give him a name uh, what Anthony all right okay let's just keep everything small letters and bank account and let's give a space so make sure you give a space over here otherwise you'll get an error and okay now I want to use the second one account name and account balance it is taking two parameters because uh, when Anthony is opening a bank account he will be uh, giving his name which is must and uh, next he will place some amount of money in his account so for that first parameter we will give his name who's and that is Anthony and for the account balance part I will give him $1,000 and the object has been created that's simple so okay for that since this is not a string this will be just integers account balance now we can print Anthony's we can print and uh, uh, we can see what what is Anthony's balance right now so let's see in the console Anthony's balance is one thousand dollar and if I run the if I call the function Anthony dot withdraw money and I want to withdraw two hundred dollars from Anthony's account and then again I want to write Anthony dot check balance and let's see how much Anthony has in his account so you see initially Anthony has one thousand dollar which we deposited with, uh, while we created the object and with the name Anthony of type bank account and we, we, we put one thousand dollars and when uh, when we withdraw money of two hundred dollars Anthony's balance is becomes eight hundred dollars so it's pretty interesting right so we, we, we have seen the objects and classes and we already know how to create a blueprint and from that blueprint we create our objects and uh, for, uh, using those objects we can call the different functions and those functions will run and we'll see output in the console so that's pretty pretty much what I wanted to show you in objects and classes so thank you for seeing my video and please do subscribe